Firstly, we need to honor Devi. She is the Earth Mother, as ancient as India. Without her, there is no access to the ultimate truth. When the seeker recognizes that the world cannot by its nature give happiness, the search shifts inward. India is felt as one's spiritual home. Here, a culture of seeking with many paths, teachers and gods, has thrived for millennia, but the truth can only be met by one's own effort. Thank you. 
The mountain is the presence of Shiva. It is the guru and the awakener. The mountain is meditation that has solidified into stone, filled with power and silence. I won't expect anything. I can get everything yes here, but I won't expect. But Arunachala giving anything, everything, everything, everything. Not only today, yesterday, or before yesterday, or tomorrow. I am not expecting, but he is giving everything. I like it very much here. First guru Arunachala. Second guru Ramana. That Guru, me and you, is itself. All our Guru. There is no Guru in this world like Shiva. Shiva is only Guru. Other than Shiva, there is no Guru in this world itself. Totally including Ramana, including Sheshadri, including you and he. Only Guru, Shiva. Without Shiva, we can't live. O oh, Arunachala, I am tired of carrying the burden of the world on my head and being separated from you. O oh, Arunachala, do not keep me any longer afar from you. O 
O oh, you who, disgusted with this life of intense misery, seek a means of giving up the body, there is on earth a rare drug which, without actually causing death, will annihilate anyone who so much as thinks of it. Know that it is none other than this Arunachala. The goddess who supports all things first manifests in the earth. With the implements of fire, water and air, she structures and transforms it. The goddess is life itself. Her body is an endless flow of impermanence.
Saraswati. 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 Now, Nitma. Oh, Nitma. I don't know what you're doing. I want to show you. English. Yeah. A fish under water is thirsty. So our greed or thirst is to be satisfied here only, not elsewhere. So when my mind uh, queries are finished, questions are finished, and I am not waiting for any answers to come to me. That is the language of love. There is one language. By questioning who am I, we shed all that which we are not, and all that 
which we are playing out as our worldly role until there is no way out and no way back. I'll sing everything. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Ishwar Allah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Ishwar Allah, hallelujah. God Allah Bhagavan Krinat Batwa Camera friend, <laughs> video camera friend. <laughs> I love it. You like it? Funny, yeah. me too. Aruna is the goddess of early dawn and Achala is the unmovable, the screen of the mind which lets everything become visible. Being and becoming determine one another. <laughs> ஒன்னியாத்தாங்க <laughs> <laughs>
The Hindu religion knows no founder, no spiritual head, no church taxes, no single book of the truth. Indians call their religion Sanatana Dharma, the eternal law, whereby they indicate that truth is not bound to a single location. There is no country which is more holy than another. There are no chosen people. It is a religion of seekers with many answers, which are nothing more than indications of that which is free of knowledge or ignorance. That which is cannot not be. It can never be objectively known. To see this is devotion. The old, archaic forms of the Hindu religion are matriarchal, close to nature and magical. They are the deep roots which bring forth the tree of realization with the fruits of enlightenment and liberation. The idea that God is invisible is a foreign concept here. The divine mystery becomes visible in the temple and appears in art, in humans, in nature, in birth, becoming and dying. The countless names and forms of the world are only transformations of the one God into the visible.
Aruna Jala Siva, Aruna Jala Siva, Aruna Jala Siva, Aruna Jala, Aruna Jala Siva, Aruna Jala Siva, Aruna Jala Siva. Arunachala is not a just a yoga. It means so many things, lots of things which I can't put in words. I have realized Arunachala is Ramana, who is my own self. Everybody's own self. Love everybody unconditionally. Unconditionally. I, I keep telling myself, I love those who love me, I love those who hate me. I love, I love those who humiliate me, abuse me, spread false things against me. I love those who say nice things about me. Hmm? I love those who want me to live. I love those who want me to die. When you say I and you, you are very sick. Sorry, very sick. It's madness. When I say I and you, it is madness. Stark madness. When you are... Free from madness, there is no I in you. Everybody wants because everybody wants to be happy. Free happiness is possible when you when you are free. And mind is bondage. Mind is because mind is falsehood. And freedom is truth. Mind is self-deception. When there is no I, there is love. So somehow you have to get rid of that is sadhana. Even now, you see, at my body mind level I am suffering. Does it mean self-inquiry meditation? Or huh? Not necessary. Meditation is not for all. I'm not a meditator. I'm an inquirer. I'm very happy inquiring. Some people sit and for some goals I find. 18, 20, 22. Very good. I can't do. But 24 hours inquiry. <laughs> it means inquiry. Inquiry means when I, the thought of my, my body, my caveats comes or suffering comes, I ask to whom is the suffering. I was telling. And the answer? Answer is, there is suffering, there is no sufferer. Es gibt Leiden, aber es gibt keinen Leiden. There is suffering, but there is no sufferer. 
you have any idea what can happen after death? I don't it's believe it is after death. My, to me, the question is, is there life before death? <laughs> That's all. Awesome.